Have you ever stopped to wonder where your gold ring or that gleaming bar locked away in a vault truly comes from? Gold is everywhere in our lives, adorning our fingers, securing our wealth, and even powering the technology we use every day. But its journey is far more fascinating than most people realize. The story of gold stretches back to the dawn of civilization. For thousands of years, humans have been captivated by its beauty and rarity. Ancient cultures crafted gold into stunning artifacts, coins, and jewelry, using it to symbolize power, divinity, and eternal value. Gold's allure is timeless. It doesn't tarnish or rust, and its brilliant shine has made it a symbol of wealth and prestige. Beyond its beauty, gold has played a crucial role in shaping economies, serving as currency and a store of value. Today, it's also essential in electronics, where its unique properties make it irreplaceable in everything from smartphones to satellites. But, before gold can dazzle us in jewelry stores or power our devices, it begins its life hidden deep within the earth. Gold is rarely found in large chunks, instead, it starts as tiny specks or thin veins locked inside ordinary-looking rocks buried far below the surface. Extracting gold from these rocks is no simple task, it's a journey that demands immense effort, advanced science, and powerful machines. Modern gold mining is a blend of age-old techniques and cutting-edge technology, all working together to unlock this precious metal from its rocky prison. To produce just a single ounce of pure gold, miners must process tons of rock, sometimes moving mountains quite literally. The scale of the operation is staggering, and the reward, though small in size, is immense in value. This incredible rarity is what makes gold so precious. It's not something you stumble upon, it's something that must be sought, extracted, and refined through determination and ingenuity. Every gold bar or ring represents a triumph over nature's obstacles. Today, we'll embark on a journey to trace gold's path from the darkness of the mine to the brilliance of a finished bar. We'll explore each step, from the first strike of the pickaxe to the final pour of molten gold. Along the way, we'll discover how geology, chemistry, and engineering come together in a delicate dance to extract and purify this remarkable metal. It's a process that combines human curiosity, scientific discovery, and relentless innovation. Over centuries, the methods have evolved, but the heart of the process remains the same. Separating a tiny, glittering treasure from a mountain of stone. Each step brings us closer to the gold we cherish. So, Let's dive deep into the world of gold refining and uncover the extraordinary story behind every piece of gold you see. The adventure begins deep underground, where the air is thick and the walls glisten with moisture. Here, in the heart of the earth, miners descend into a labyrinth of tunnels, each one carved out over years of relentless work and determination. In the tunnels of a gold mine, darkness is pierced only by the glow of headlamps and the hum of machinery. Every step forward is a journey into the unknown, as miners search for the precious veins that hold the promise of fortune. Miners use powerful drills and carefully placed explosives to break apart ore veins. These are the ancient geological highways, where gold settled millions of years ago, hidden deep within the rock. After the thunderous blasts echo through the tunnels, huge chunks of gold-bearing ore are blasted loose and scooped up by massive loaders. These machines are engineered to operate in the harshest conditions, moving tons of rock with each pass. The loaders dump the rubble into enormous haul trucks, each one capable of carrying hundreds of tons. These trucks rumble up winding ramps, their engines roaring as they climb from the depths of the mine to the surface above. At the top, the trucks unload their cargo into a mountain of jagged rocks, each stone concealing gold in microscopic particles, invisible to the naked eye, but worth a fortune to those who can extract it. From here, a network of conveyor belts springs to life, carrying the ore across the site and into the processing plant. The journey is relentless, as tons of rock move steadily toward their transformation. This is the last time gold exists in its raw, rocky form a mixture of promise and potential still locked away inside the stone. The next steps are crucial, crushing, grinding and breaking down the ore to free the gold. Massive crushers and mills are brought into action their jaws and rollers, pulverizing the rock with relentless force. The goal is simple, reduce boulders to powder, making it possible to separate gold from worthless rock. 
This transformation is both a science and an art, requiring precision and power at every stage. It's the first major step in transforming rock into riches, setting the stage for the complex chemical processes that will soon follow. Let's see how the crushing begins, as the journey from raw ore to gleaming gold enters its next dramatic phase. The first task, turn big rocks into little rocks. A primary crusher like a giant steel jaw chews up boulders, breaking them down to gravel. Secondary and tertiary crushers take over, reducing the rocks to small pebbles. The purpose? Expose as much of the ore's interior as possible for the next stage. After crushing, the ore is mixed with water to form a slurry and fed into massive grinding mills. Sag and ball mills tumble the ore with steel balls, pulverizing it into a fine, sand-like powder. Now, the gold particles are finally liberated from the rock, the result, a thick, muddy slurry, ready for chemical separation. The brute force is done, now, chemistry takes over. Let's see how gold is separated from stone. The real magic is about to begin. With the ore ground to powder it's time for chemistry, cyanide leaching. The gold slurry is pumped into tanks and a dilute cyanide solution is added. Cyanide dissolves the gold forming a gold cyanide complex in the liquid. The unwanted minerals stay solid while gold moves into solution. Next, activated carbon granules are added. Gold clings to the carbon, leaving waste behind. The gold-laden carbon is separated out while the barren tailings are treated and safely stored. The carbon, now loaded with gold, is ready for the next step, getting the gold back off. This process is highly selective, pulling gold from the chemical soup. The journey continues as we recover pure gold from the carbon. Let's head to the smelting furnace. The journey to pure gold begins with the gold-loaded carbon which is carefully washed using a hot caustic solution. This step is crucial as it separates the gold from the carbon, allowing the precious metal to be collected for further processing. The caustic solution dissolves the gold, ensuring that as much of it as possible is stripped away from the carbon particles. The result is a concentrated gold solution, shimmering with potential. Technicians handle this gold-rich liquid with care, as it contains the essence of what will soon become solid gold. This solution is now ready for the next stage in the refining process. The concentrated solution is pumped into electro-winning cells, where electric currents are passed through. This causes the gold to plate onto steel wool, gradually building up a layer of metallic gold. The process is closely monitored to maximize recovery and ensure quality. What's left is a sludgy, gold-rich material. Although it looks unremarkable, this sludge is packed with value. However, it's still far from pure and contains various impurities that must be removed. Now, it's time for smelting, an ancient, fiery process that has transformed gold for thousands of years. The smelting furnace glows with intense heat, ready to purify the precious metal. The gold sludge is mixed with flux, a chemical that helps separate impurities, and placed in a crucible. The mixture is then heated to over 2100 degrees or a temperature high enough to melt gold and break down unwanted materials. At this extreme heat, the gold and impurities melt together. The heavier gold sinks to the bottom, while lighter impurities rise to the top, forming a layer of slag. This separation is essential for producing cleaner gold. The molten gold is carefully poured into molds, while the slag is skimmed off the top and discarded. This step reveals the first solid form of gold in the process. As the gold cools, it solidifies into a rough doré bar, typically containing 80 to 90 percent pure gold. These bars are the foundation for further refining. The doré bar represents a huge step forward, but it's not the final destination. More work is needed to achieve the highest purity. To reach investment-grade purity, the gold must undergo one last high-tech process, electrolytic refining. This modern method ensures the gold meets the strictest standards. Next, we'll see how gold is transformed into gleaming, investment-grade bars, truly pure, and ready for the world's markets. The Doré bar is impressive, but not pure enough for the market. Enter electrolytic refining, a process using electricity and chemistry for atomic-level purification. Doré bars are cast into anodes and submerged in an acidic bath with pure gold cathodes. An electric current dissolves gold from the anode, which plates onto the cathode, atom by atom. Impurities like silver and copper are left behind or fall as sludge. The result gold of 99.9999% purity. The cathodes, now thick with ultra-pure gold, are removed for the final transformation. This is the gold that makes it into vaults and jewelry stores. Next we cast the perfect gold bar. Let's see how it's done. 
The pure gold sheets are melted down one last time and cast into classic gold bars. In a clean, controlled environment, the gold is placed in a graphite crucible and heated in an induction furnace. The gold melts into a glowing liquid, ready for pouring. The molten gold is poured into graphite molds, giving bars their iconic shape. The bars cool, solidify, and are quenched in water. Each bar is weighed with extreme precision. Every fraction of a gram counts. The result? A nearly perfect bar of pure gold, but before it's ready for the world it needs an official identity. Next, stamping and securing the gold. The journey is almost complete, let's finish the transformation. A plain gold bar is valuable, but a certified one is trusted. Each bar is stamped with the refiner's mark, weight, purity, and a unique serial number. This information is recorded, making every bar traceable. After stamping, bars undergo a final quality inspection and purity test. Only after passing inspection is a bar considered complete. Security is paramount. Bars are packaged to prevent damage or tampering. Smaller bars are sealed. Larger ones are wrapped and placed in secure boxes. The bars are moved to high security vaults, ready for shipment worldwide. From rock to vault, the transformation is complete, a testament to human ingenuity and science. The next time you see gold, remember the incredible journey it took to shine in the light of day.